The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office believes this shooting was an isolated incident. Now, I was able to talk to the uncle who said his nephew lives in the home where the shooting happened, and he says that he's just trying to piece together what happened and what led up to the shooting. Police cars and crime scene tape blocking off roads surrounding the 7200 block of Oakwood Drive. Billy Patterson says he got a call from a friend about a heavy police scene where his nephew lives, and he was concerned. I'm going, wow. You know, it doesn't make, I'm not understanding this, you know, we're not, you know, what, it, what kind of a crime might be, you know, so. My thoughts were raced through a bunch of scenarios that whatever it might be, you know, like did they get robbed or anything, you know what I mean, or something happened. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says they found an 18-year-old boy with a gunshot wound on his upper body. He was taken to the hospital in critical condition. GSO says the circumstance around the shooting are still under investigation. Patterson says he got a call from his sister saying his nephew's friend accidentally shot himself. And that there was no... No one crossed the line is their exact words. Patterson hopes the 18 year old boy has a fast recovery. I just hope that the, you know, their friend, this young man that shot himself accidentally is okay. GSO says they are still investigating and if anyone knows any additional information to give them a call. In Arlington, Brianna Ray Turner, First Coast News on your side.